Hello, I'm Dr. Amy Sisson, Placer County Health Officer and Public Health Director, here with an update on COVID-19. Since my last video update, many announcements have been made at the national, state, and local level about COVID-19 and measures being taken to control it. In Placer County and across California, we've now recommended stronger social distancing measures, especially for those most at risk of severe illness, the elderly and those with underlying health conditions. Guidance is changing rapidly, so please follow guidance issued by us at the local health department in addition to the state and federal governments. The long and short of it is, we want everyone to stay home as much as possible and minimize social contact, especially if you are at risk. These recommendations have already led to school and business closures. This is not business as usual, and we know this is having a huge impact on daily life in our community, for our elderly residents, for our business owners, for working parents, for children, and ultimately for everyone. While this is creating hardship in the short term, I want to make clear that our actions now are critical to protect our community from more serious consequences in the long term. Some of you may have seen this graphic from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, but if you haven't yet heard of the concept of flattening the curve, I wanted to take a moment to walk you through it. The graph shows how, during a pandemic, disease spread can rapidly accelerate in the absence of intervention. We are taking action now to hopefully slow the surge in COVID-19 case numbers so that our hospital systems, healthcare workers, and first responders do not become overwhelmed all at once. By implementing more strict social distancing now, we aim to flatten the curve so that the health system and other critical infrastructure can meet demand and stay functional. In other countries, we've watched as hospitals have become overwhelmed by COVID-19 and our whole community needs to pull together now to try to avoid that outcome here. How can you help? Again, we urge you to stay at home as much as possible. That means eat at home instead of dining out in a crowd. FaceTime or Skype instead of hanging out with a friend group. Go out for essentials like groceries and medical supplies, but try to avoid close contact with others. Do what you can to help your elderly or immunocompromised loved ones stay at home completely, like bringing them essential supplies. Another way you can help? We know many people may have concerns and may want to get tested for COVID-19, but please only contact your doctor if your symptoms are more serious. If you have mild symptoms, stay home and manage your symptoms there with over-the-counter medications whenever possible, regardless of whether you have a cold, the flu, or COVID-19. We do recommend that you call your healthcare provider if you develop difficulty breathing, feel extremely tired, or were feeling better but then feel a lot worse. Only call 911 or go to an emergency department if you believe your life is in imminent danger. Understand that advice may change as our testing capacity increases locally and statewide, but right now it's important to reserve our hospital space and our doctor's time for those who need it most. If you have a family member who tested positive for COVID-19, the CDC is now recommending that your entire family stay home for two weeks. We are asking you to make short-term sacrifices now to protect those on the front lines of this pandemic and to avoid more significant loss of life in the long term, along with more serious economic impacts. We need to act as a community. Don't panic, but don't be complacent. Yes, 80% of cases are mild, but if you have mild disease, you can spread it to others, others who may not be as fortunate as you and may become more severely ill. Take this seriously. It is likely to get worse before it gets better, but panic and hoarding are not helpful. We are in this together. Please be kind and generous and please wash your hands.